Welcome back everybody. I'm taking a break from the pizza oven and I've got some wings. That's right, some chicken wings burning a figurative hole in my pocket. Realize I haven't made wings on the Blackstone Griddle in a couple of years. Let's do it. I have that Blackstone 22 inch Pro Series, that limited edition Black Friday Griddle. I love using that griddle and I'm going to put some oil down. Now it's hard for me to tell you what temperature to have your griddle at. You don't want to have it as hot as for stir fry, but yet it can't be ice cold. So with wings, patience is the name of the game. It's going to take a long time. A little extra virgin olive oil down in my wings. I dried the wings by the way, so these things are fairly dry. I got all that yucky chicken juice off of there. Now I'm going to choose to use a sugary type of rub. I love the fat boy all natural stuff. I have literally been using this stuff for 16 years. My wife brought me a bottle of their sauce as a gift on a whim when we met and I, I loved it and I've been using it ever since. They sponsored my YouTube channel about 10 years ago. They're great people. Small company out of Nebraska so check them out and I still buy their products today. Fat boy all natural natural sweet rub now this has a lot of sugar in it now of course that's gonna burn up on the griddle so I'm gonna be careful I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning in here right now a little bit of rub we're not gonna overdo it because I don't want to burn these wings to a crisp so just a little bit and then we're gonna season them up more later now we'll listen for that sizzle we can hear it perfect so we know we don't need to go up we can always go down with temperature but we don't need to go up Alright, we're gonna put those down. These are my contaminated tongs. I'm gonna use them for a few seconds before we switch over. Now look, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip these wings. You can see we're already getting some color. I'm gonna flip them and then we're gonna do some temperature control. The name of the game is a pair of tongs and a lot of flipping, just like a hot dog. Go ahead and sprinkle a little more of my sweet rub on there again not going too crazy I don't want these burned but these are certainly helping as you can see that sugar is what's helping with that caramelization over there so just a little bit on those bare chicken spots you certainly could add a little more oil as you go along kind of adding to that fry effect All right, I've continued to turn these things every 30 seconds or so and I can see I'm getting really good color again very paranoid don't want these things to burn so I'm gonna go down here turn the temperature all the way down on this bad boy and we're gonna keep them moving okay you can see these are looking beautiful it's probably been 10 minutes we're not timing this probably been 10 minutes maybe 11 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead now and take my contaminated tongs with my ball and get rid of that. And we'll switch over to a new pair of tongs here because the outside of this is, is cooked. Don't have to worry about spreading salmonella. So just remember, keep turning these things and control that temperature. You wanna have a crispy skin. Uh, I've given them a squirt of oil twice, which has helped to bring up that crispiness. So although these are not deep fried, they're still gonna have that deep fried skin look to them. Let's come over here, my Blackstone cutting board. Hey, who out there has the original? first generation Blackstone knives here. Shout out, I've been giving a lot of shout outs to my subscriber George Boscovich with Boscovich Farms out in California. Met him at a demo this year in California. He was so gracious to me and sent me an amazing massive, massive package of produce, overnight shipping. And of course we're doing chicken wings. So for me, I have to, I simply have to have celery. And I whipped up some homemade buttermilk ranch using one of the Hidden Valley Ranch seasonings. Friends, listen, I use this up in a bottle too, but if you ever get a chance to make it fresh using the Hidden Valley Ranch or any other comparable brand seasonings with mayo, with buttermilk, it's good. Now 
Now the small, the small wings will cook up real quick. You don't need to worry though, they're not gonna get burned while we're waiting for the larger ones. But definitely pay closer attention to the large wings. A lot of meat on those, right? They're huge. And so you wanna, you wanna seek those out and just look around them, making sure they're done all the way through. Now, if you really want to, if you're really analytical, you can pull out a meat thermometer, but for a wing, come on, we're not doing that. These took just about 30 minutes. That's typically what it takes. If you really want to take your time, make sure you don't burn them. You see, you want all that great color, friends, okay? Great color, but you don't want them to be burned. So typically, if I had to guess, I would say somewhere around 30 minutes or so if you're controlling your temperature. Here we go. Let's plate these up. You know what, friends, I'm here at my house, so you're not gonna mind if I touch my food. Hopefully not. Probably get somebody in the comments down below saying, I can't believe he touched those wings. Just when I was doing my take a look at that, I forgot, I'm a sauce guy. So this is what originally got me excited about um, Fat Boy All Natural. Their sauces, Chipotle is actually my favorite. So I've got to have a little bit of sauce. We'll just put a little bit on top. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. Take a look at that right there. Gorgeous wing, fat boy all natural, sticky stuff on the griddle. Let's give it a try. Hear the crunch? What's more to say, friends? They were absolutely delicious. So deep fat fried wings are wonderful. Smoked wings are wonderful. Air fryer cooked wings are wonderful. And they can be wonderful on the Blackstone griddle as well if you do it the right way. You want to keep going until you get that crispy skin. Turn the temperature up and down as you need to. Control it. Use some good rub, some good sauce, and you end up with something like this. So I appreciate you watching and please visit me on the road on the griddle more tour just go to blackstone's facebook page facebook.com facebook.com slash blackstone products and click on events we're going to be out in uh, illinois this week and next week we're going to be out in the greater cincinnati area so one last look until next time praise the lord and pass the wings on the blackstone griddle <laughs>